think Garnier need to raise the bar on this one. Okay, all right, that was cheesy, I'm sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11 and I've got something quite interesting and exciting for you. I've only done this once before, but not with this brand. And what I'm talking about is shampoo my hair with a shampoo bar. So there is a third one, but they had sold out in the shop. So I only managed to get these two, which is fine because I actually wanted this one. If you can see, it says it's for strengthening hair and it's for damaged hair prone to breakage. Now my hair isn't necessarily damaged, but it's ultimately dry at the root. My last two previous videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. I bought this one because it says it's hydrating and that's what we need. We need some hydration on these roots. So right now my roots are looking fairly, fairly nice actually. That's hair grease by the way. But I'm going to deep condition my hair later on, but for today's video, it is literally solely about the shampoos. Okay, so let me talk about the things that I like and what attracted me to the shampoo. As you know, I use Garnier, the hair food. Oh my gosh, I love the hair food deep conditioner. The three in one it's called. So it's a deep conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and a regular conditioner. Okay. okay, so the two that I have here today is this one. So Garnier Ultimate Blends, Smooth and Hair Food, Coconut and Macadamia. And then the second one I have to hand is, this one's so yummy, Garnier Ultimate Blends Food Hair Banana and Shea Butter. So when I saw these, I was rather excited. <laughs> what attracted me to this, and I think it's the kid in me, but it's got a little hole which says smell me. They smell lovely. This one smells like, mm, I don't know, honey yogurt or something. This one smells like fresh air and the sea breeze and with a hint of air freshener. <laughs> But I don't know why, that's just a kid in me. It's always been my thing as a child when I've gone into the shops and you know, you get those little fragrances of air fresheners and you kind of scratch and sniff. That's, that's always been me. Am I weird? Yes, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, that weren't necessarily the only thing that attracted me to this, but I did enjoy that part of this packaging. Anyway, so what did actually attract me? It says it's 94% plant-based. Now I know I like my silicones and have silicones and mineral oils and what have you, but those are more so my sealants. When I'm washing my hair, when I'm cleansing my hair, I like to have a clean, fresh start, no pun intended, but I like to have my hair freshly cleaned without any silicone, sulfates, or um, products that will weigh my hair down or actually increase the buildup, even though it's meant to be cleansing, okay? And the fact that one's strengthening, the other's hydrating, and I like the fact that it's for damage-prone hair it's the novelty for me you know the fact that you just get a bar of soap that you can actually put on your hair and it's not for your skin okay so it says zero plastic waste and what they mean by that is that the packaging is in this cardboard box and for the storage box you had this cute little aluminium tin container and it was shaped like the soap and what i mean shaped like the soap it's because the soap is shaped like a little drop of water look at that a little raindrop so I'm gonna read you what it says on the box. Our first shampoo bar, free of plastic waste. Honey and beeswax, blended in a solid recipe to nourish and restore hair. Leaves hair nourished and protected from damage. Obviously this one doesn't contain the honey and beeswax, so we'll say coconut oil and organic aloe vera, blended in a solid recipe, yada, yada, yada. So it says easy to use, and it gives you four steps. So it says number one, wet your hair and shampoo bar to make it foam. Number two, hold the shampoo bar and lava from roots to tips. I'm assuming you have to just rub it on your hair from roots to tips, like you would do with a normal smidge of shampoo on your hand. <laughs> Number three, store in a dry place such as a box for preservation. Okay, so this is where they're trying to, uh, you know, get you to buy their little storage box, which is fine. Like, I get it, you know, you've got products need to be sold. I get it. And number four, it says keep massaging your scalp and rinse thoroughly. So I'm going to be doing the honey one today just because my hair, as I said, it's not damaged, but it needs moisture. And I know that honey is a humectant. What that means is it draws moisture from the atmosphere into your hair. So it attracts moisture. I don't need any more moisture being sucked out of my hair, okay? So to see how I use this, just carry on watching.
I am back. Hair is freshly washed. I am happy. So guys, as you saw, I washed my hair with a bar of soap. Now I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons as it were. I'll start with the pros because there were more pros than uh, the cons. I'm just putting my hair up because it's dripping on me. First pro, I loved how it smelled. I can still smell it in my hair. It just smells so delicious. It's mouth-wateringly delicious. I love how it lathered in my hair, how it coated my hair, I should say. Lathering, but I'll talk about that in a sec. So I love how it coated my hair from root to tip. It was so creamy, moisturizing. You could just feel the moisture in the hair. And guys, you saw the way, this is number three, by the way. You saw the way I was able to detangle with ease. It's so moisturizing, guys. My hair feels a lot stronger. It actually gave me a lot more definition at my roots because as you know, I've had my hair in a protective style. I think I misjudged the adequate amount of uh, moisture my hair was meant to maintain during that protective style. So let me just put it back down. So if you can see the line of demarcation, this is the length of the protective style, guys. This is the majority of the time that I've had the protective style. So as you can see, it's thirsty. This has always been moisturized because like, for some reason that, I don't know, I, I don't know. So yeah, it's got my definition coming back at my roots. My hair feels soft, clean, cleansed and all the above. Those are my pros. Um, I think there's a little bit more, but I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> oh no, no, there is another pro. It's perfect for travel size guys. So if you're going on holiday, <sighs> very good for travel i must say you haven't got to worry about carrying the liquid with you you've got a nice bar of soap also guys um initially when you rub it in your hands it doesn't foam and lava very well i didn't like that but it made up for it with the coverage on my hair i i enjoyed that thoroughly i enjoyed it another con sorry i would say is that it says on the box that it says last up to two months now it says, i know it says last up to two months but for curly afro hair I don't think it's gonna last long, especially if I'm washing my hair every four days. It may last for a month, if I'm lucky, maybe. But it's a very small bar of soap. I think Garnier need to raise the bar on this one. Okay, all right, that was cheesy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know what I mean. For the price, it was good, but only because I got it on sale in Superdrug for three pounds. I have seen this bar of soap being sold for eight pounds. I picked it up, scanned it at a till, put it back down, okay? I'm not buying it for eight pounds. However, I feel that three pounds is an adequate amount, definitely for what it does. It doesn't have any sodium Lawrence in it, which I'm actually allergic to. And that sodium Lawrence seems to be the thing that gives it the bubbles and the foam in. Um, so obviously that's where it lacked, but I'm not complaining about that. So overall guys, I give this shampoo, this bar of shampoo, I will be buying it again on sale. Um, definitely guys, I definitely recommend it. As I, I can't say for this one at the moment, um, cause I haven't tried it, but I definitely recommend it guys. I will give it maybe about a seven out of 10 and only because it's so small. One thing I will say guys, if you just cannot manage the soap, holding the soap in, because it is a bit awkward, it is, I'm not gonna lie. What you could do is maybe blend the soap with water. So you've got kind of like, you've made your own little liquid shampoo, if that's what you prefer. Obviously it defeats the whole purpose of the bar of soap shampoo, but that's another option for you. But I definitely recommend it, guys. So anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, please. Follow me on Instagram at MissLaurenLee11 where I do daily stories, okay? Daily morning motivational quotes, all right? So I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye. One's strengthening and hydrating and... <laughs> and for the storage box, you had this cute little aluminium, al aluminium draws moisture from the air into... Draws mo... Draws... Maybe you can use it on your skin, but personally I wouldn't. But I'm just saying. <laughs>